Megalithomania presents the ancient high technology and hidden energies of megalithic Greece and Crete tour that takes place between the 7th and the 17th of October 2020 with an add-on to Crete and Santorini from the 17th to the 21st of October. Join Megalithomania's Hugh Newman, who's the author of Earth Grids and Stone Circles and the co-author of Giants on Record and Megalith Studies in Stone, and also a regular guest on History Channel's Ancient Aliens. JJ Ainsworth from America will also be joining the tour, and she is an expert on ancient megalithic symbolism. And we also have Gary Bilcliffe and Caroline Hall who are expert geomancers and dowsers and the authors of The Spine of Albion and The Power of Center. And we will be sharing this experience on an adventure through the heartland of the prehistoric titans and Olympian gods of ancient Greece. Famous for its classical temples, but really Greece has an earlier megalithic civilization who built massive polygonal walls and fast stone hill forts. In tradition, these are the Cyclops, one-eyed giants renowned for their astonishing stoneworking sophistication. The polygonal walls are identical to those in Peru and in Egypt. After exploring the magnificent Acropolis in Athens that has Mycenaean influences and rock-cut areas like those found in Peru, we will also visit the massive Cyclopean Wall of Nyx. This is on the Hill of the Nymphs. And we'll also visit the polygonal wall site of Keramiklos, which is also in Athens. We then head towards the Argolid Plain, stopping at the mighty Corinth Canal, that has megalithic construction at its base and was initiated as far back as the seventh century BC. In the area of Argos, many ancient sites exist and myths come alive. These include the mighty Tyrins and Mycenae, both huge temple sites said to be built by the Cyclops giants and founded by Proteus, the great-grandson of the founder of ancient Greece, Danios. Tyrins has construction dating back to 2700 BC, whilst Mycenae has the Lion's Gate, the massive Tholos chambers, the treasury of Atreus and incredible features that date back to at least 1600 BC. We will get to visit the remarkable Hellenicon Pyramid, one of 16 that existed in Greece. Thermoluminescence dating puts it back to around 2700 BC, which is the same era as the first phase of Tyrians and is also older than the Egyptian pyramids. We will also explore Larissa Castle and Midia, both with Peru-like polygonal walls. Larissa Castle, for instance, is said to be the earliest megalithic construction in all of Greece. We then head north and see some more remarkable sites such as Onades, which has massive polygonal walls and one of the most impressive and most ancient stadiums in ancient Greece. We'll also visit Kasopi, which has stunning polygonal architecture, multiple temples going up the side of a mountain. Next, we visit the Necromantium, which is the famous Oracle of the Dead, the entrance to the underworld. It has a huge underground chamber and completely built with sophisticated cyclopean construction. We will visit Dodona, a famous oracle site on the Apollo Michael ley line that stretches all the way across ancient Europe from Skellig Michael all the way down to Megiddo in Israel. We will also visit Elia, which is another massive polygonal wall site that has some of the largest stones in ancient Greece. We will visit the Oracle of Delphi, which is the famous Omphalos of ancient Greece. And we'll visit, also get a chance to visit the Castalian Spring, the Apollo Sanctuary, the Sibyl Rock, and also the very, very ancient megalithic wall there, which suggests it may be much older than people realize. So overall, in ancient Greece, we're gonna see some of the most remarkable pre-classical sites, as well as some of the famous sites, such as the Acropolis and Athens and so forth. But there's an underlying megalithic civilization that may go back many thousands of years that wasn't only in Greece, it was also in Italy, southern Turkey, Sardinia, and many other countries in the Mediterranean. But it's really in Greece where we think it all began. 
We also have an optional extension to the beautiful volcanic island of Santorini that was once called Thera, destroyed in an ancient volcanic cataclysm. We will also get a chance to go to Crete as part of this add-on, exploring the Minoan world, visiting the famous Knossos Temple with the Minotaur. We'll also visit the National Museum that has remarkable evidence of giants, as well as the Phaistos Disc, which is yet to be deciphered. And we'll visit many temples all over the beautiful Mediterranean island of Crete. So please join us on this once in a lifetime tour to ancient Greece, Crete and Santorini with Megalithomania. Full details can be found at megalithomania.co.uk.